there are two ways. Well, actually it's really one way, but there are two ex manners in which people agree with stigmas. One is to fully get in line with the, with the content of the stigma. So let's say the stigma says that Polish people are stealing our jobs, so they are parasites. Or maybe the stigma is that um, you cannot trust those people in that family, or he, he's the, all those people are crappy or I don't care what the content, content of, the, of the stigma is one way to agree with the stigma is agree with the content and often people agree with the content of a stigma after they have one or two encounters with people that seem to validate that stigma so they think the stigma is true that's a trap but there is another big trap that people don't see that's when people fight against stigma so let's say you are what they call an Afro-American and you come from a neighborhood near Chicago, not in Chicago, but near Chicago. And Chicago has been a haunted place for a, a while. And um, now you have this stigma against people who are considered black, who are colored, who are from Chicago. So now you want to prove yourself that I'm not like that. Now what has happened? You have given honor and homage to that stigma by fighting against it. Now, it's true that people act out that stigma, that people empower the paranormal toward, towards that stigma. That's wrong. But by you now making it your mission to fight against that stigma, you are now are giving up. You're now empowering the same stigma you're fighting against because whatever you fight against, that's what you bring. Now look, when you fight against something with the aim to, uh, let me say this, when you fight against something, you're giving it relevance. So that stigma is a made-up construction, good enough. But that stigma now will, will only remain because people agree with it. But by you now fighting against it, you're giving it relevance. By giving it relevance, you're now going to get the reaction of those that do want, that do agree with the stigma. So now you are in a fight with people that agree with the stigma. And what's going on in the background? Demon spirits are rejoicing. Why? Because you fighting against, against a stigma is causing a reaction from those that agree with the stigma and then you have enablers that are becoming upset they just want to avoid stuff they don't want to take responsibility all that negative energy is now generated by this resistance is now fueling that same stronghold that's feeding off of the stigma so what do you do with stigmas you just acknowledge they are there do you acknowledge you have an outworking in society but you, but you see them as just constructions as arbitrary stuff you see them for what they are you are not going to become emotionally against it or emotionally supportive no 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 neither are look a stigma causes trouble a stigma causes death so a stigma is not something harmless okay but you have to see for what it is and you need to look at the bigger picture that there are demons working behind the scenes to benefit from that stigma most people, when they are facing with stigmas, whether it manifests in a racism or whether it... I don't know which way... I, I don't know how a certain stigma works out there. Are many stigmas out there. It can be to racism, it can be to classicism, it can be to all kinds of isms. People often go against the material manifestation, against the social manifestation. So if you have neo-Nazis, for example, people are going to think, who are, who, are the, who are those scum of the earth? What's going on now? Those neo-Nazis are in agreement with a stigma. And now people are upset with what they're in agreement with, so now people develop a stigma against them to hinder them. What has happened? They are now um, using evil to re restrain evil. And it works. It brings relief, but it's short-lived because you still have, because you still have that negative energy around that demons are feeding off. Even if you would so-called kill and exterminate, exterminate all neo-Nazis, that negative energy is still there. And demons can always, in a later generation, reintroduce that negativity in a social manner. So, when you're dealing with stigmas, which are kind of, I'm see like this. If you, if you imagine that, that, that a stronghold is represented on a piece of paper, then a stigma is the seal that validates that, that, that stronghold. When you're dealing with stigmas, deal with a stronghold behind it, in the spiritual, through prayer, through fasting, and through agreeing with Christ. 
that's how you walk in victory well that being said we have peace